SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week eight in the NFL, and uh, we're talking right now with Al McMorty from BigAl.com, who's uh, coming off another successful weekend at his site. Al, thanks for being back with us. Always good to be here, Peter. All right. Green Bay and Minnesota is the second game uh, you want to discuss, and uh, I think I'm liking uh, a side on the total here. Before we get to that, give a quick plug for BigAl.com. Well, you know, I've been in business since 1992. The website's been up and running since 1995. Terrific site. There's three free plays every day for myself, from Larry Ness. Folks can go to BigAl.com and click on free picks for all that complimentary select, for all those complimentary winners, and then they can get winners also on the picks for sale page from guys like Larry Ness, myself, Ben Burns, Scott Spreitzer, Brian Leonard, Tom Stryker, Wayne Root. Lots of great information. And we're having another terrific season, Peter. Okay, sounds great. Green Bay at Minnesota is the second game we're going to discuss with you. And Minnesota, of course, 10-point home underdog looking absolutely terrible. With they, can't, they just have no one at quarterback they can rely on. Freeman was terrible on Monday night, and he's going to start again for this game. Total's 46-and-a-half. And, and uh, the Packers, of course, very banged up um, at receiver. All three of their games since the bye have gone under. So I'm looking at this. I'm thinking Minnesota's going to try to get something done here with defense and a conservative game plan. Green Bay probably going to be a a little bit limited on offense. I'm kind of loving the under 46 and a half. What do you think about that? I'm kind of agreeing with you. Oh. You must have read my mind, you know. I mean, I watched the game. I watched that entire Green Bay Cleveland game this past Sunday. It was, as you mentioned, you know, with the injuries now, that was a bittersweet win for Green Bay. They lost their playmaking, you know, tight end or Michael Finley. He actually, his career could be over. They still don't know yeah. what's going to happen there, but he's got the neck injury and he's definitely out for a while. Hopefully, he's, his career doesn't get, you know, derailed here. They lost Randall Cobb, their best receiver, the previous week, and now they have to travel to Minnesota and take the Vikings. The problem for me, you know, I, I'd like to look at Minnesota here. Double-digit home dogs have been terrific over the years. 74 wins, 50 losses against the spread. But Minnesota has been putrid the past two weeks, and even I won't, you know, be able to put my mind in Minnesota as the double-digit home dog. I just have no confidence in the Vikings, especially after watching that game last night, you know, where Josh Freeman was 20 of 53 for 190 yards. And then even worse for the Vikings, their only points came on an 86-yard punt return. So they had zero points on offense against the team that had the worst defense in the league coming into the game. The Giants had given up 209 points. So Minnesota's offense is just, you just can't trust it right now. And then you take a look at Green Bay without those wide receivers. Before last week's game, you know, Mike McCarthy of Green Bay, the head coach, he said that they were going to be leaning more in the running game. And I think that's going to be even more so this week. Eddie Lacy's running real strong right now. Division games with over-under lines in this range or higher, you know, tend to go under the total. And I like this ball game under the total as well. Okay, I think you have said it all, laid out your case uh, perfectly. Al McMorty from BigAl.com liking the under 46 and a half in Minnesota Green Bay. And I'm definitely agreeing with that one. Thanks, Al.